Hey everyone, today I'm hanging out at the Ubel showroom. We're gonna try out some instruments, see what they got, and hang out with some cool people. Let's take a look around. I'm here with Eugene Mundy of the National Symphony Orchestra. Uh, he's an Ubel artist and he's been kind enough to demonstrate some of Ubel's clarinets for us today. So we're going to listen to him a little bit and then ask him what he thinks of each one. Now, for something like the Zenit, how do you think that compares to the Romanzas? What do you, um, what do you identify as the big differences there? I think the, the biggest is that the Romanza has a projection that's going to work with a big orchestra quite well. Um, the, the quality of the wood is the first thing that comes to your attention as you play the instrument. I mean, it's really high quality wood. Gotcha. It's got a real density to it. and. Um, there's two choices with the posts. One, obviously, this one has the gold post, which does help give, a, at least in the response and in the feel, um, a sense of softness, which people can like. I mean, depending on how live your hall is, it may be a good thing or a bad thing. All right, and here we have the Zenit. Yes, and this is in the, the Zenit uh, Mopane, which I, I play and what I like quite a lot. It's The Mopane has a really nice quality of sound. It's maybe not as quite as... Um, dense as the uh, Romanza, but the the quality of the wood, the benefits are that it makes intervals, especially larger inter intervals, quite easy to play, and the response in the articulation is really nice. It's one of my favorite instruments, and I, I have to say the, the, the wood is a real, real nice balance between some of the softer rosewoods and um, Grenadilla. Awesome, thanks. All right, and then we have the Advantage, which is sort of like their entry-level pro model, right? Yeah, I, and actually it's what I use of the Grenadilla clarinets. I, I like it um, because it's a little, the wood is a little bit different. It's not quite as hard as the um, Zenit or Romanza models. And to me, I like that softness of the wood, actually, and the quality of the sound. Um, and I think it's a good balance, you know, for me. In, in my hall, it's a little dead. It's a, it really requires us to push, so this, there's always the chance of sounding brittle. And I think for me, it's the best of uh, of the models for for our, our our hall, essentially. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. Really Thank appreciate you. it. All right. So I'm back from the Ubel showroom. Thanks so much to G Lee for having us out. Thanks so much to Eugene Mundy for playing the demonstration part of the video. I know this wasn't as in depth as some of my normal videos, but I wanted to make it pretty laid back. Maybe just show a general idea of how the Ubel sound, kind of what's going on with their instruments. 
If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like it and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy practicing.